Hi everyone, it's the first day of not going to school due to the quarantine because of coronavirus. This is a really unusual situation that none of us have ever experienced before and we don't know how long it's going to be till we're back in school. So lots of you are now accessing your work online via Moodle and hopefully you know where the resources are that teachers are setting. However, in a time where we don't know when we're going to see each other again, it's really important to look after your mental, your um, emotional and your physical well-being because you're not going to be seeing people the same way as you used to do. You can contact each other online, but you'll really miss that social interaction in lessons. And, and I'm sure you'll even miss some of those annoying things about school, like assemblies, even my German lessons. Um, you'll appreciate it when we all get back. So this is about um, having some videos every day for you to access that allow you to focus on your own well-being and the well-being of those in your family who you are currently in isolation with. Um, there's going to be recommendations every day from myself, some motivation on a Monday, but also some book reviews to get you reading, um, things to look after your physical well-being at home, um, and also a little bit of fun as well. So keep on accessing them every day. Right now, there's probably two groups of people. Those of you who are like super excited that you're not having to go to school again and you think that you're going to play on your PlayStation all day, go to bed when you want, get up when you want and kind of like routine's gone out the window. And then there'll be those of you who are probably feeling really anxious, particularly those of you who were preparing for exams, who feel like you don't know what to do now because you were really studying hard and revising. Um, and so what I would say to everybody is, although it's really nice nice to have that flexibility to not be getting up um, to get into school for 8.30. It is really important to still keep some form of routine. So at one point, yeah, enjoy the freedom, enjoy the fact that you're not having to get your uniform ready, enjoy the fact that you can go at a slower pace because that's really good, but still keep some routine which is what I'm trying to do with our family. So don't go to bed at three in the morning and wake up at midday make sure that you're getting up before nine o'clock in the morning and make sure you're factoring in certain things to your day. So things like regular exercise, you can go in your garden obviously, but you can still go to a local park as long as you're not exercising with other people outside of your household. So make sure that you are doing those regular things. Make sure you're eating well, and make sure you're keeping your mind active by doing a little bit of work every day. But also, why don't you use this as a chance to learn a new skill? Maybe you do want to brush up on your language skills or even learn something completely different like Mandarin that you could do on Duolingo. Maybe you want to learn an instrument. You've got a guitar lying around. There's loads of resources online that you are able to access. Um, there's the e-books that we have through the library that you can access as well, and um, which I'd really encourage you to do. If you are staying at home to look after siblings, because I know a lot of you are the older um, sibling, then um, have a think about what you can do to help your parents. Can you start doing some chores for them, doing the cleaning? Can you start cooking? That's a really good life skill to be learning right now to set you up how to be a really good cook whilst not having much food in the shops. So I think the biggest thing that I want to encourage you in this time is to get um, out of feeling selfish or feeling annoyed and to think about those people around you who um, you are living with and what you can do to be kind. Or maybe being kind to your elderly neighbours who can't get out, what shopping could you drop off for them? So I just want to read you a poem to finish, which um, really sums up, I think, what is going on right now and hopefully what will happen as a result of this. History will remember when the world stopped and the flights stayed on the ground and the cars parked in the street and the trains didn't run. History will remember when the schools closed and the children stayed indoors, and the medical staff walked towards the fire, and they didn't run. History will remember when the people sang on their balconies, in isolation, but so very much together, in courage and song. History will remember when the people fought for their old and their weak, protected the vulnerable by doing nothing at all. History will remember when the virus left, and the houses opened, and the people came out and hugged and kissed and started again, kinder than before. So my message to you is, what can you do to be kind today and this next week? Okay, keep checking every day on Moodle for more videos. Bye everyone.